Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In the last video, I had mentioned that I needed to just get away and be by myself, and that's exactly what I did. Now, with that being said, as most of you know, or if anybody has been following my videos, you know that I had been traveling with a friend for quite some time, all the way from Saskatchewan through Alberta into BC. I really grew to enjoy this person's company, but regardless, sometimes we just need that time to be by ourselves. And as much as it hurt for me to leave this person behind, even for a short time, I needed to do it for me. You see, lately I've been feeling extremely anxious, and I couldn't figure out why. So I needed that time to be by myself, to figure it out and get past that feeling. So I turned the key in my tiny home and headed in a direction that I had wanted to go for quite some time. It was not an easy decision, but I felt like I needed to do it for me. You see, I haven't exactly felt myself, and I need to figure out why. And in today's video, waiting on both ferries, I felt like I figured it out. You see, sometimes in life, we might not be happy with ourselves, and that can affect us in more ways than one. And for me, it affected me in every way possible. So with taking some time for myself, and digging into the root of the problem, I started to think more and more on how I could fix this. And the closer I got to my destination, the more I was able to even talk to the camera once again. And that's something I haven't done in quite some time. For most people, talking to the camera is like looking in the mirror. If you're not happy with what you see, you don't exactly want to stand in front of the mirror too long. But me being a YouTuber, I felt like I couldn't look into the camera and talk if I wasn't happy with myself. Now mind you, I absolutely know that I have some work to do on myself, but with even today's adventure, I felt like there was definitely some improvement. And the closer I got to my destination, the more I started to feel like me again, and that felt great. to the island was that much for two passengers just myself to get off the island is that much that's crazy I don't know many ferries that well I haven't been on many ferries but that's crazy <laughs> even before hitting this boat and leaving the sunshine coast I made sure to spend a number of hours just with myself and my own thoughts and for me that was the beginning of the self-improvement that I have been looking for. I have been living in my vehicle for a number of years, and you would think that in doing so, I would have lots of time for me. But the thing is, that even though I live in my vehicle, I've been surrounded by a community. Now yes, that community was absolutely great, and I loved them all, but it didn't leave me with much time to really be by myself, like truly alone. And boarding this ferry by myself, I started to feel more alone than I have been in years. I believe that sometimes in life we surround ourselves with others 
so we don't have to be by ourselves. But for me recently, I needed to feel that. I needed to take a good look at myself and see what I can improve on deep down. I don't think enough of us take the time to truly look at ourselves and instead judge others when really we should be putting that focus on ourselves. So along with today's adventures, I made sure to take that time and truly look at myself and figure out what was bothering me. Hey guys, we made it on the first ferry. This is ferry number one of the day. The next one will be going to Vancouver Island. Let's go check this one out. And you would think that putting myself on a ferry with a bunch of people is kind of the opposite of what I'm talking about. I didn't talk to a single person on this ferry and I made sure to just take that time for myself. Because in this moment, the only person I really needed to talk to was me.
In one of my recent videos, I mentioned how we need to do better as humans, to keep our planet clean, and as much as I hope that people took something from that video, I took something from that as well. You see, not only do we need to keep our planet clean, but we need to keep our minds clear, and that way we can focus on improving ourselves as much as we are trying to improve on our planet. Because not only do we live on an amazing planet, we also are amazing ourselves. And I don't think many of us truly understand how amazing we all are, including myself. And that's why I needed to take some time for me to remember that I can do this. I can focus on the negative parts of me. I can change the negative outlook in myself. Sure, some things like that can blown on the deck, I can't reach. But for the things that I can reach, I hope to one day change, clean, and focus on what I can do myself. And I think if we all think that way, even a little bit, we can all improve in ourselves and make a difference in ourselves as humans worldwide. Watching these doors open seems like the most exciting part for me. Looking back on it now, I feel like maybe it was because with each of these boat doors that I've passed through in the last little while, I was learning something else and having a realization about myself. And with that realization in mind now, I could see why I was getting so excited to see these doors open. I don't believe that any of us in this world are perfect. And we all definitely need improvements. But if we can focus on ourselves enough with every day that goes by, if we keep that in mind, I believe that we can truly make a difference in ourselves. And that's something that I plan to keep doing in myself.
Okay, you guys, we just landed back on the mainland. But I'm going to do a U turn right now and head back to the boat. That makes two boats one day. And we're headed to Nanaimo. So we'll see if we can catch ourselves another day. up and reorganization removing the passenger seat for now I'm gonna hang on to it I'm not gonna get rid of it yet because they're not gonna get any easier to find on the island I don't think I gotta say sitting here is killing me <laughs> just sitting here in the Sun not really being able to get out of van I do have both windows down but as I was organizing I was like dang it's really getting hot like really getting hot like there's no airflow Matt the fan that you gave me finally gave out it's been running non-stop ever since dude definitely been a workhorse but finally gave out and it's not because it's not plugged in watch plugged in you can see it trying but it didn't so I'm gonna have to get another fan or some kind of roof vent eventually because holy smokes it's humid it's hot I do like the heat but some airflow would be nice so update on the fan we're just about at the uh, Horseshoe Bay Terminal, where I'll be getting ready to uh, board the boat. I'm not exactly sure what time it is. Let me give a check. It's currently 4:38, so just our estimation on how long it takes to do two ferries in one day with no reservation. I did try. I'll put a picture up right here, but all of the reservations were booked. So it is what it is. We'll cross if we can when we can. Thankfully, I'm really in no rush. I'm kind of having fun answering a few of your comments and uh, lining up some contacts for when I get to Nanaimo. And it seems like a lot of you want me to go to Victoria. So maybe we'll take a shot in there and see who all we can meet. I'm hoping to meet as many of you as I can, like I mentioned. So if you guys see me, don't be afraid to come up, say hi. If I'm not around the van, remember, there's a little mailbox on the front. Feel free to use it in any way you see fit. A little note business card, whichever, just so I know if you guys said hello, you know. Um, also, don't forget to put the little arm up so I know that there has been mail delivered. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get on to this boat and I'll check in with you guys then.
five is what it cost me to cross to Nanaimo. Now it's time to hit the lane number five and board this ferry. Currently it's 6.45. I think last time I checked in with you guys was around like 4.35 o'clock. So again, just a reference of how long you could possibly wait for these ferries if you don't have a reservation. It was a long line I was in that of people who didn't have a reservation also. And like I said, I'm in no rush, so I didn't mind the wait. But yeah, thankfully, we're gonna get on and cross. Woo! That was probably the most hilarious reaction I've ever had from my plate. That guy just walked up and he's like, Hey, I just had a question. Um, how much is this subscription to your OnlyFans? <laughs> I'm really glad people are getting the joke. Thank you, Corey. I know you have made a lot of people laugh by getting me that plate. <laughs> oh, am I going to have to open one? What's going on here? <laughs> I don't think the shirt is doing me any justice. It's really selling the OnlyFans. <laughs> Catching up on other people's videos while I was waiting. It's like currently 8 o'clock or something like that. It's been quite the wait. Um, but I did see that our boy Jeffy Bear is planning to leave the island as I'm coming to the island. So hopefully we can meet up before he ends up heading out. I hear he's heading to the States, which is really cool. Um, hopefully one day I can do the same and head that way. But for today, we're heading to the island. Oh, check this out. Like I mentioned, I was in no rush at all. Um, let's check the current time. Currently it's, oh wow, it's currently nine o'clock, almost hot, exactly. So I got a feeling by the time I get to Vancouver Island, it'll be stopping at Tim Hortons real quick, grab a coffee, and then look for a place to crash for the night. I did message a guy named Shane. He met me in Vancouver Island at one point, or, he met me in Deerfoot City at one point and he gave me his number. I messaged him and he said Costco was good to stay at just in or outside Nanaimo. So maybe we'll crash there for tonight. Seems like a safe spot. I'm not used to the area and I don't want to really venture too much at night. So check it out.
we go. Let's see it moving. Here we go. To Vancouver Island. Can I officially say I'm going to an island? We'll see when I get there. Walking and the boat's moving. It feels like I'm not walking anywhere. <laughs> See you again soon, mainland. Or maybe not soon, who knows. I don't research anything and I don't plan for usually anything either. So I'm totally going with no plan in mind and we're just kind of winging it. I don't even know what it looks like on the map really. Kind of Googled where Tim Hortons was and Shane told me where Costco was. After that, I have no idea. So we're gonna be full on just seeing what it's like for someone who doesn't know and a tourist. So should be fun. By mainland. In short, it's been great. Looks like some kind of sub vagine. I don't know. Could be a boat, but it looks like a sub vagine to me. a carrier boat trailer thing. I don't know, if you guys know what that is, let me know. Like I said, I research nothing. <laughs> cool. Let's go check out the rest of the boat. Yeah, this boat's a lot bigger than the last one. Yep. back up and hopefully see the landing <laughs> or the docking whatever you want to call it um, I really can't tell if the lights I'm seeing over here are from where we left or for where we're going I don't even know anymore it's very dark out here but I think those are the lights of where we are going so that means we're kind of close and I'm extremely tired, so I think I'm just going to go kill some more time in the van and um, wait for the boat to dock and then head to Tim Hortons real quick and then to Costco. You know, we'll, we might end up coming back to the Tim Hortons in Nanaimo tomorrow morning, but for tonight, I'm absolutely exhausted. I need something to eat. And I can feel rain. See? Anyway, I think we're going to end the video off here. I will show clips of me driving off the boat. But 
we will basically end the video off here. I will show you guys more of the island tomorrow morning or in the next video. Until then, remember, never give up on living life because life is the most precious thing we have. See you guys in the next one.
legend, Lauren. <laughs> Jeffy, how you doing, brother? How are you? Did I ever make a boo boo? <laughs>